This is our tree today. It's dying. I'd say it has some proximity to the house. That oak thing. It's in bad shape. It's got issues. Well, I don't know what you could do, but I bet I could fall it. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. I need holding wood on this side, so it's weird to cut that side out. But I think it'll give a little more clearance on the steps. I think it'll give a little more clearance on the steps, perhaps. Cut this down too, if you're wanting to dog in. Because your dogs would be- I'll be dogging in in the corner. Are oh, you gonna cut on that side? Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere to run. Okay, I think I'm on with you. Making a video for you guys today. This is like hard to, to justify making a video here. But maybe it's interesting to somebody. What we got is we got this bank behind me, see? And all the little water skippers. Irrigation ditch, right? Right next to the ditch. Then it's thought provoking. I'm getting a phone call. Hola. My extended warranty is going to expire. Oh, really? I'm sorry you got interrupted for that. You should take care of that. <laughs> so I'll have to block that number. Anyway, this is Damien. What's up? Oh, I should probably note that before we even start the job, that those windows are busted. <laughs> it's not us. Damien cut this tree down long ago. Jeff did this one. Oh, Jeff did? Yeah, Jeff did this one. Nice job, Jeff. And there was, uh, somebody else had came and attempted to do it. And uh, I wonder if their flip line is still around here. Somebody started doing it and then backed out? Yeah, it was some Harbor Freight rope or something. Ah. Uh. And, uh, yeah, they got up there and decided they didn't know what they were doing. They screwed lag bolts and stuff into it, and there was nails, and... They actually like screwed steps in as they were going up. Oh yeah, we'll get we'll get her done for you. It was sketchy. It was really sketchy. Mm -hmm. Kind of admire that though. I admire the the I can uh, mindset. Yeah. And I even kind of admire stopping when you know you're about to wreck yourself. Damien on spurs. <laughs> <laughs> On spurs, walking in the metal log. Limb walking. Nice job. Boy, it's tempting to give you a little little nudge. <laughs> How about? <laughs> First pick out, pretty smooth. We anticipated there'd be a little bit of swing towards the boom, and that's okay. Now he's just gonna set it down without trying to hurt them apple trees. Fruit trees, I think there's a plum right there, actually. A lot of nice little fruit trees out here where we'll have to be careful setting things down. Next one, I think we'll take this bit of brush, turns into a log there. I'll go down and take that piece of brush too, all the way down to, you know, somewhere in there probably. Don't want to do any harm. 
cherry tree there. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this very well because the sun, but I've got a sling hooked there. Got one hooked on this other piece of brush. I'm gonna cut both pieces of brush all the way down to uh, probably right in here. Definitely way under our capacity, but again, I don't wanna, I don't want my outriggers mashing down right on the edge of this funky bank. I was just really wanting to get that little bit of turn. <laughs> yeah. Came off really super smooth. Considering that it was cut kind of like a slice, you know, with no shelf under it. Boy, you wouldn't want to be like a kid running through this and fall. I mean, these are like little trip hazards that will impale you. Vietnam War style. Looks like we are in panda country. Either one of us is doing it all or or the other one is. Personally? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can do it personally. <laughs> so we got these steps over here that stick out slightly in front. We got that little concrete slab. We got a crane. We could we could make some more picks, but we don't want to. We think we can do something to occupy this spot. And that's what we're about to attempt. Just give it a little shove. It may be that just the middle was a little wrong. You are a superstar! <laughs> that was awesome. So here we got the stump YouTube and the reason the tree was resisting tipping even though it was weighted somewhat this way is because the face cut is so far forward. 
and have the face cut so far forward because it puts the log further away from the stump and away from those. Another thing that puts the log a little further is not having a wide open face cut, which you usually want when you're falling in between things next to things because the big wide open face cut allows the hinge to work longer and the cuts don't meet up soon and give it a yank to the left or the right, which can happen and just wreck everything. So I needed the face cut to not be too wide open to put the log further away from the tree, from the stump and the steps. And I also needed the face cut forward. Not, not you know, having it hinge way back here, because if it's hinging way back here, then that means all of this stuff is gonna be in closer proximity to that later. So I needed it out here and I needed it not too wide open. Have I covered it? Hmm? Did I cover it all? I think you did. Maybe there this uh, maybe this window there. was was unnecessary, but I feel like it improved our our uh, distance a little bit, our proximity. Are and we for done? all the people that think we take human chances? That's our extra precaution right there. Yeah. To help guarantee our results. Yeah. And it's it's good. I mean, if we thought we have them all the time where we think, "Oh, I don't know." And then I say it all the time. And so it probably could be done. It would probably could fall it, but and it's like the eh. risk all risk over reward. Yeah. There's a lot of times where we we where we relent in doing what you know a big move and then later we're like oh i'm glad we didn't try that mm -hmm. so it's almost like this delicate balance of jumping from slippery rock to slippery rock to get across the creek exactly i mean you get there but you kind of feel like it was it was a play by play minute to minute I mean, you're up against this, see? The committee in your head. The committee will tell you you can't, and it'll tell you you can. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's figuring it out. And then eventually they start taking votes <laughs> and see who has the most on each side. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's some stuff to think about. Thanks for hanging out with us on an easy job that had some interest.